Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Jordan back with some more Darius gameplay. I'm versus Tom Kench in the top one. I'm sure I like to be a start the channel. I'd like to show you some of the tips and tricks I use to uh, to climb. And right now we're in Diamond 1 with Darius. Doing pretty well. Here he's gotten pretty aggressive. I'm going to try to just take a really long trade with him. Long trade should, in theory, favor me, but I need to dodge the Qs. They got to dodge of the tongue. It's really important. I'll try to get behind minions here just so I can stop taking damage from him. I might try to, like, Q above this minion. I kind of want to bait it. I'm just barely getting hit by these. At this point, he's going to hit level 2 first. I want to be careful. He's going to look for the W. I just want to respect it. I think it's level 2. There's no reason for him to go shield here because he, he's got the uh, he's got the advantage right now. I'm running double combat summoners compared to his teleport. So hopefully we can use that to our advantage to get an advantageous position. We gotta play a little bit slow now. Early trade sync go great. We do have Doran Shield, so we will regenerate health over time. Just good, good there, just trading while standing behind minions, just to make sure I can't be queued. When I do use E, though, I do have to worry about him using his W knockup because I don't have any way to interrupt it after I use my E. Really good positioning right now. Just not letting him crash it fully. He's probably gonna go Ward River or something. As long as they don't go invade our Amumu, I'm pretty happy. Q. If you use Q or something here, I, I get a massive win. Nope. And just using this one minion to my advantage with the E, unfortunate. Big dodge on Q. Oh. Yeah, that's all right. A little overzealous on me to flash. I should have just let him go. Oops. Boom now. The lane will still freeze in my favor, so I can chill, but I'm not going to be able to do too much without mana. Oh, he's going to get 2v, 1v2, so I'm going to run down. I've got enough mana for one ability. Good Q crit. Uh, okay, we got him. I got a little bit of mana now, but there's no way I win this. Kind of rough. Um, yeah, if I can have that flashback, definitely want that flashback. The, the ghost there is great, so what you want to do, and this is going to be one of the win conditions we're going to look for, is when we pop go when we when we want to go all in, we're gonna hold the wave here. And when we, we want to go all in, we want to pop ghosts and just really take these big sweeping movements around Tom Kench. That'll make it really hard with all the movement speed for Tom Kench to ever land the Q on us. And as soon as he misses Q, especially if we're like if we're like uh, dodging forward aggressively, then he's gonna be in a really bad spot. And even if he tries to W at that point, I can run to where he would W two and catch him there so there's really it really denies him uh his outs so what we're gonna look to do now is he doesn't have flash our ghost is gonna come up before his flash we're gonna look on this next ghost that's where we're gonna be looking for a kill hopefully we can be level six by then we should be and that will be a really good way to win uh i was trying to i was trying to land a e on him as he queued the idea being that if i pull him under turret as the q connects then he'll draw turret aggro that's what i was looking for there didn't quite work out, but I think it's a I think it's the right thing to look for in that position. Anytime you can ease someone under turret as they're throwing out a damaging ability, it'll draw turret aggro. He just has he just has level advantage now, so he's got to dodge cues and chill. Hmm. Not great. Try to get some Q trades. He's gonna heal off. I mean, anytime he land a Q, though, he's gonna heal a good bit of it with his gray shield. So, so we're gonna be great damage poke, but you see right now a lot of my Darius strategy is yeah. Oh, okay, we got him on a turret. Oh, he stopped for another auto. Oh, that's all right. See if I had flash now, this is where flash I get punished for wasting my flash earlier. If I'd flash there, he's dead. I just flash to his uh his W and then I W him. But that's okay. He should have to reset. Um I'm gonna see though if he actually does reset. I'm gonna kinda slow. Is this freeze? I'm not actually sure. No, he's still oh he's still here. I'm gonna get level six. I'm gonna try to set up to get an engage as I get level six here. Yep. Yeah. Q kill the minion. Big. 
The beautiful part of Darius is... I need to push this. It's kind of sussy, though. Hecarim could gank me. But I, I have to push this. Use my Q to hopefully crit these. All right, good. Get to reset off. Um, one of the things about... Yeah, so so what, what I was looking for there is I, I get to one minion off of six. So he feels a real good sense of security. You know, he's level six, I'm not. Uh, and then I EM in and I Q and I make sure to hit him and the minion that I need to kill to hit level six. So that I can get level six. I can do the rest of my abilities. I need to... I, I don't really have time to wait because he could, um, I don't know, ult or something. So I just look for the R right then after, you know, I use all I can. I just try to burst him down real fast. What you'll see on Darius and a lot of the champs is... Did you get it? Woo! Hey, good job. Um, that goes. Not these minions. I kind of just want to chill. But I'm also looking to see if I can be aggressive. You'll see me be real aggressive early. And if I can get something going, then I snowball hard. But even if I don't get something going, even if I throw a little bit with that flash, I still find I can still play the great the way passively, the lane passively, and uh, find find situations to put myself ahead. Good dodge on that Q. He doesn't have Q. I'm gonna go for a trade. This is big. I have Ghost. I want to keep that sack going. Good Q. I'm all coming up soon. I'm just so low on mana now. I think at this point I just have to EM under turret or something. Good freeze. It's gonna be hard to kill him without mana because he because he's gonna be he's he's a healthy guy, right? So it takes a good bit of abilities to get the kill off. Um, okay. Did use of E buffering on the Tom Kench W? I'm kind of hoping I can just stall this out until Mumu gets here, after Mumu's done with Rift. Good dodge. Yeah, I'm going. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Just punishing him with, uh, again, I have to push these waves. Hopefully there's no Hecarim. Nah, okay, I'm just dead, but whatever. Okay, yeah, I'm just dead. Uh, so, really well played. Like, I set him up. I ghosted to where he was debuting to. I flash dodged the... It was getting kind of close. So I went ahead and just flash dodged the Q so he didn't heal. He didn't get to his ult. Because if he can if he can get the 3 sec into his ult, it could turn around. Or if Hecarim is around, right, taking a while could be detrimental. So to just not greeting, using my spells effectively to get another solo kill. Solo Bolo's on the Tom Kench. I'll take him. First time playing the matchup, so just kind of a general understanding of how the abilities all work together and just finding finding the avenues that lead to a victory. We're up 15 CS. You know, it's not bad. I teed us both into Hecarim, which is kind of annoying. It's not preferred, but this is big. Oh, good job. And again, I'm going to go Trinity Force. I could go Divine Sender. I really value movement speed on, on Darius. And I, Trinity Force, I, I think it does more DPS. I think it does more DPS. Divine Sender just gives you healing. I find a lot of people overvalue healing, though, um, in League. Especially a lot of lower elo players. I would rather have the playmaking potential and the DPS advantage of Trinity Force. Get to him? I might be greeting a little bit here. Slice up. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Who knows? Good. Slice up again. Yeah, he's in really bad shape now. Yeah, I just fo follow him through. Follow him through. Uh, Q, W, auto, R. R immediately, so hopefully he can, I can surprise him before he gets the shield off, which I did. And we get another kill. 420. Great score line. Try to get a plate here. I don't really know where Hecarim is, uh, so this is kind of risky, but whatever. I can get two plates off of it, as preferred. Auto W. Okay, and he teleports. Let's just get out of here. I don't know. Hecarim could be here. 
run really far away. I'm gonna recall here. Try to be a little sneaky with him. Okay, dude. All right, I, you know what? I greet him. I greet him. Can I get out? Oh, you messed up. Oh, I messed up. Does he kill me? Ooh, okay. Wow, I could have been. I should have been punished for that. I'll be honest. Um, I was trying to be cheeky with my recall to save a little bit of time, and I sweep her to see if he had vision. He wards in the bush that my sweeper is hovering over. The one bush. So what that means is he knows I'm back there because it's disabling his ward. Stay alert. So, kind of unfortunate. If Ekram was there, I'm immediately dead. And then I even over-traded with him. He got to the point where he got to army, which was, again, pretty scary. I don't know why I was poking for a fight. I didn't have mana. I had no win condition. I should just leave. So he could have armed me and again spit me out into a Hecarim. I could have died multiple times there. I got really lucky. That's really lucky. There's just no point to take all that risk. There's no upside. So again, just even though even though that didn't go poorly, right? The bad thing didn't happen. We can we can analyze and determine that that was still a egregious misplay and could have gone really poorly. And that's really important. I think a lot of players don't have that uh, don't understand how to analyze the situations effectively. Or they heavily discount them when they are when they don't go poorly, right? People can be very result oriented. Uh oh, that's a little scary. Yeah, okay. I I um I used to play Hearthstone. I've never played card games a lot, but I played Hearthstone a lot back in the day. Original Hearthstone. Uh, I hit Legend in that pretty consistently, and it, I think there's an advantage to understanding heart, a game like Hearthstone and that in league and you don't look entirely results oriented at plays you know i try to make plays that are really really strong especially on allow like 80 percent of the time and what which is why you see me split push a lot on allow when a lot of people will go oh shouldn't you rotate it there it's like well maybe in this one scenario it would have been better but if i do this my strategy more often than not it will my strategy will be better and that's what i'm going for i'm not trying to win 100 percent of my games i'm trying to win like 80 percent of them that's pretty good you know, when I was first climbing, uh, 55 to 60 percent was really good. If you're first time climbing to a, a rating, I think you're really aggressive here. Yeah, I tried to dodge that. I'm gonna have to flash. Like this is really bad. Okay. Oh no, no. Okay, I misplayed that. I should have. I should have. I should have gotten the auto off. I could have ghosted. I should have gotten the auto off. Uh, before I ult it to get that one extra bit of damage. There's a lot of things I could have done better there. But I don't mind too much. It was an aggressive play. Um, you know, I went for it. That's practice in mechanics. I, I think I played most of that fight really well, actually. I just barely messed up the mechanics at the end. So I had lethal. I just kind of messed it up. And so I die, but it's a trade kill. It's not the worst thing in the world. And I, and I hype on this a lot. When I'm first learning a champion, I try to make aggressive plays that I can learn from. Even if I miss the execution, if I have the right idea, that's what I'm looking for. And I think I had the right idea there. I portal through. They're being kind of wild with it. I don't have ult. Why are you so fast? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's fast. Oh. I have ult coming up. I kind of would like to stall for it, but Hecarim is also pushing top, and there's a massive wave up here. I like to farm this. In theory, we should all like disengage top river. Okay, kind of. Or kind of disengage. I don't know. It's kind of spooky. I got the clear at least. Looks like we're initiating. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna run it back, same style, baby. Let's go. Oh wait. Uh oh. Hold on. Okay, that was really bad. Okay. Just trying to get five stacked on Tom. Big. Try to get our buffs. And you. Boom. Oh. Hey. Boom. Boom. Oh, so much move speed. So much move speed from Nami and, and Trinity Force.
One thing I did that was really good there is I eat Tom Kenshin Hecarim into the Xerath wall after the CC chains that were on them wore off. So they got CC'd, uh, and then Tom spent Hecarim out, and I pulled both of them into the the Vagar wall. So they get double CC'd, and then we just clean up really easily. Really nice little synergy between Vagar and Darius there. Just abilities-wise, really strong. I guess if you want a good mid lane duo with Darius, you could go Vagar. Makes a lot of sense. I'm just gonna deny jungle from Hecarim while they're fighting, but not loving this. I'm gonna try to deny this if I can without dying. Yeah, it looks like I can. They're pushing mid. Okay. Don't love that fight mid. I mean, I don't have R. <laughs> like none of us have R actually, so it's just it's just really bad. My R is almost back up. Maybe we can get something going here. Maybe I'm trolling. Actually, I'm tro I'm just trolling. Oh no, dude! They know. All right, let's just saw as long as we can. Maybe we can get the Nami. Okay. Okay. Slice up. Dude, there's everyone here. Okay, I trolled. I trolled. That was too too aggressive. Too much. Shouldn't have done that. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Team's kind of cracked. All right. Yeah, definitely trolled. Definitely trolled. Should not have done that. Should not have done that. Yeah, it's funny. Those are plays on a ladder I'd never go for, too. Part of just honing your champion. Just part of honing in. That game sense will come to me as I get more comfortable on the champion. All right. Let's hit the Drake. I have Ghost and Flash coming up, but Ghost is the first one, so I really like fighting around Ghost timer. Let's see if we can just kind of zone him into the end. To, okay. Well, we see Triss. That's good. That's some info. Let's go back around. I'm trying not to show too much. Dead. You're dead. You're dead. Uh. I'm just gonna zone. I don't know what Zach's doing. That play works if you're jungle smack uh Zach and you have smite, but that's support Zach and he doesn't have smite. I don't really know what he's doing there. Like you're not stealing it. You're not killing us. Now I can push out bot. There's no objective anywhere, and Drake was just taken, so bot lane is the top laner's lane now. It'll be the furthest lane away from the next objective, which is Baron. Just again, just a nine more jungle. I still need to work on my CS thing. Sometimes I get get too focused on killing, on killing. So, you know, we're not we're not quite there with CS yet, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Let's just see. They either send multiple people bot and stop me, or we take Baron. I see Zach. Anyone else? Surely you're not alone. Tom's top. Hecarim's bot. Okay, we get Baron. Cool. I just want to run away now. Run, run, run away. I did my job. I created pressure on bot. The enemy team made a decision. They decided they were going to stop me instead of going to Baron. And now we get Baron for free. And I don't die because I respected it. I think we cheese someone here. I do not tolerate power. Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, that really hits. Let's just get out of here. Good sights up. Clean. Got a flash, got a teleport. Nami wants to come down here. I'm fine to like kind of fight. I've got two items. My destination is clear. This high up. I'm also fine to just like push this lane. Ekram's top. I wish you had pressure in mid lane, but I have a lot of gold. I'm gonna back and just go top. We go force of nature. Just kind of get movement speed at this point. Movement speed resistances and health are really powerful when we have a Trinity Force Steric CH because we already have a good bit of damage. And this enemy team, we don't need a lot of damage. Like, sure, they have Tom Kench. He's really tanky, but he's not really useful because he's one in seven. Killing 
I guess I'll hold my... This is like macro-wise, this is really weird. Like, I don't really want to be mid lane. Typically, you'd have your teammates be mid lane and you'd be in a side lane. Which is not working out that way. We're like doing this weird 2-1-2 two two thing that's really awkward. I said my team wants to collapse on me now, so that's nice. At least I caught the wave moving. You have flash. You could look for a flash E or something like that. I almost have this mid turret. That'd be really nice to get. I can use my E to, to stop Zack engage. I actually should look for that a little bit. Kind of waiting. Waiting for the minions to do their thing. Surely Varus or Nami can just hit the turret once here. That'll be big. We have 50 seconds left on Baron. You can just do the math by looking at the Baron cooldown timer, and when it hits three minutes, your Baron falls off. It's a really simple trick to, to do. The cannon should get the turret here. Nice. Good. Ooh, lots of vision around here. I double sums. Oh, they are going in. Okay. Oh no, I'm just getting CC trained. No. Wow, I got absolutely destroyed on by CC chains. I tried to interrupt Zach's leap in with my E. I'm not sure if I did or not. Oh no, Hecarim's gonna roll them. Oh no, dude. Hecarim, by the way. Ooh, big. Okay. The only problem with going for some nature here is I, I don't get armor for, for a little bit longer. Chana sucks into Hecarim Trist. Magic Resistance this is good into... I mean, Hecarim does some magic damage. It's good into Tom. It's good into Silas. Uh, my brother? Oh, you missed your old... I mean, Hecarim has a million move speed, so I get it, but... All comes down to the dragon. You can look to, like, ease someone over the wall. Be sitting in the back of the pit here. Hey, come on over here, buddy. Oh, you're done. Yeah, there's beautiful CC chains. It's kind of awkward now if we fight, though, because I'm kind of... Okay, we're good. No Ghost or Flash. Hopefully Ghost could be up for this Baron. I'd like to split Bob, but my team wants to force it mid in him. So I'm going to go group. Oh, big? That could be big. I mean, it's Hecarim, though, so he just kind of runs away. We use two R's. That kind of sucks. Okay. Thumbs up, so we can't really do anything now. We need Baron to push any further. We just don't have it. We're going to take Bot. Uh, you want to you wanna do that, buddy? Dude, that actually is a free kill if he just hits it. Oh. Whoa, brother. Oh, y'all are trolling, I think. Get the R reset. Big. Oh, yo, yo, yo. On me. Yeah, them forcing that was, was wild. <gasps> Big. Oh. Oh. Understanding mechanics and league is is important. There, I used Q to proc Trinity Force move speed, which allowed Nami ability got me in range to so hit that E on Tristana in Hecarim. That's massive. There we go. Ten kills, ten assists. Overall, pretty clean game. I I think I had one or two troll plays, but. Most of my deaths were fair. You know, dying to Hecarim after getting a solo bolo. That's okay. Good things. My client crashed, so I didn't get to see the post game, so we gotta pull it up in the match history. Hey, top damage. Let's go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see y'all next time.